The coronavirus vaccine developed by Oxford University and AstraZeneca is being hailed as a potential game changer for developing countries because it is cheap to make and easy to store. One of the largest trials for the drug took place in Brazil, where infection levels are high. 10,000 volunteers took part in five different states. There have been some doubts raised today, though, about the way some of the data in one of the trials has been presented. The head of the US coronavirus program, Monsiv Slawi, has pointed out that one part of the testing regime was administered to participants in a group whose age was capped at 55. It also seems the treatment works differently in smaller doses. But nonetheless, still being seen as a breakthrough. So let's talk now to Dennis Misny, who is the CEO of the Lemon Foundation, which was instrumental in those trials in Brazil. Very good to see you. How did such a collaboration come about? Uh, we have been collaborating with Oxford University and other top excellent centers around the world uh, to foster how Brazil could really develop key research to advance our most social issues pressing social issues. And we had this collaboration between Oxford and UNIFESP in Brazil. And the foundation was approached and we were able to provide funding for the trials. It was the first trial of any vaccine in Brazil. And it kind of opened the way for Brazil to have access to vaccines and to be able to find a concrete solution to the pandemic. So Dennis, what was the reaction there when you heard how successful the trials were? We were very encouraged by it. Uh, we are. Uh, we believe that because of the conditions of production uh, and distribution of the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine, uh, that this could be a solution for Brazil and many other developing countries. It's also way cheaper than the other vaccines that were approved before. So it's it, it brings us a lot of hope. So how is it going to work in Brazil? Are you going to be able to manufacture it there? I think this is one of the key shifts that not only Brazil was able to do the trials, but Brazil secured an agreement with AstraZeneca to have the technology transferred to Fiocruz, the largest vaccine manufacturer in Brazil, so that Brazil would be able to, to manufacture it locally. So we have 100 million doses coming uh, from AstraZeneca in the beginning of the year, but starting in April or May, uh, we're going to be able to produce the doses ourselves therefore offering vaccines to Brazilians, but potentially to other countries in Latin America. What's the most important lesson you've learned that you could share with others in terms of this collaboration and now being able to distribute the vaccine? I think the most important lesson here is how when you put together private sector, academia, not-for-profits and the government, and you're able to fastly build trust and work together, I think you can really, really tackle big, big complex issues like the one in the pandemic. And if you can think the short term, securing the vaccine, but also the long term, building the necessary infrastructure for a country to be able to be independent in the next, uh, facing the next problem, I think you can really build something that will be a game changer for the next 10 or 20 years. So you're talking about possibly the next pandemic and that it's incredible that those systems and more particularly that trust is now in place to tackle it the next time. Exactly. I think that when you when you go through something like this, so such a, a big challenge for the world and you can find these collaborations and we're seeing this in Brazil, but in other parts of the world, I think this would be an encouragement to think about these kind of collaboration to other big global challenges like climate change, like extreme poverty, like systemic racism and many other of the issues that are still tackling our countries. So we can see the positive side of something coming out of this horrible pandemic. Dennis Misny, thank you very much for joining us and congratulations. Thank you.